Today I want to show you how to use the Taro Pro 4 dock. Some people have trouble inserting the dock into the Surface Pro 4. Here's a good way I found to attach the Pro 4 dock to the Surface Pro 4. Lay them both on a flat surface such as this table here. Line up all the connectors. As you can see there are several. And slide them together. Make sure there are no gaps in between the Surface Pro 4 and the Pro 4 dock to ensure that it has been inserted well enough. A green light on top will be on to show that the Surface Pro 4 is booting up. So I'm just going to press the power button here. As you can see, there wasn't a green light. So that most likely means that the Surface Pro 4 is low in battery. So I'm just going to get the charger. Usually when you plug in the charger, a blue light should appear. Since there isn't a blue light, that must mean the Surface Pro 4 is completely dead. So I'll just go into the back. As you can see, there's a button right here called the reset button. Pressing the reset button for even like less than a second will give a tiny bit of power to the Surface Pro 4 to allow charging again. So I'm just going to press that. As you can see, there are several different ports on the Pro 4 dock. The top one is called the display port. The next four ones are USB ports. Notice how the second port on the Pro 4 dock is black while the other three ones are blue. This is not a mistake. This one is called the USB Type 2 port and is best for the mouse and keyboard. These ones are USB Type 3 ports, also called super speed ports. You can use these to copy files from your thumb drive or connect to your external hard disk. The next one is the Gigabit Ethernet port. And last but not least is the charging port. As you can see, the mouse and keyboard work just fine even with the Pro 4 dock. I can go into the web anyhow I want. I can type all kinds of things with the keyboard. And so it all works. I took out the AC adapter. And I'll be showing to you that it, everything still works even without it. So we'll be going back to Yahoo and it still works. We're going to be checking to see if the Ethernet works while using the Pro 4 dock. So I'm going to be plugging in and checking to see if it's connected. And it is connected. Another feature I want to show to you is how to turn off the Surface Pro 4 properly using the green LED. You will want to hold the button down until the green LED disappears. This way, you can know that the Surface Pro 4 is properly powered off. So as an example, I'm just going to press and hold the power button down. And the green LED disappeared. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give a thumbs up on the bottom below.